Hi everyone and welcome to Unbox It. Today I want to show you Star Trek 5 Year Mission. This is a brand new game by Mayfair Games. It was designed by David Witcher. It's a cooperative dice game and it is hot off the presses and one I'm really excited about. An awesome friend of mine picked it up at Gen Con just last week for me and here it is. So. I have stayed away from really looking at any pictures or any other videos because I'm really, I didn't want to be spoiled what's inside. I love Star Trek and I can't wait to see what's inside. So, I don't know, maybe that's a little preview. Um, but this is a co-op game from three to, for three to seven, although I know you can play it solo or with two if you play with multiple, I don't know, one person plays or both people play with uh, multiple characters. Um, because it's from Gen Con, I also got the Yeoman Rand and Wesley Crusher uh, promos, promo uh, characters. So I'm excited about that little bonus, but let's break it open and see what's inside. Oh, first of all, this is a about the size of the box I was imagining. Uh, I thought it might be a little bigger, but I'm glad it's small. Um, so I want to compare it. This is the Splendor box. And you can see, I am a little too close. There we go. You can see it's basically the same width as, or length as Splendor. Splendor's got maybe an inch on it, but it's about the same um, height that way too. So it's going to be a very similar size box to Splendor if you are, if that makes sense. So let's look it up. First, Here's the cover. I do love how it is, I don't know, it feels like an old style art. The artwork is old. It looks like Star Trek. And there you are on the bridge of the Enterprise looking at the crew of the next generation. So let's see, let's look at it, open it up. So here we go. Okay, so here's our handful of dice. Uh, these are small, so I'm gonna think that these are 12 millimeters. Um, you know what? Let me go get a 16 millimeter die and put it, show you. Okie doke. I should have had this out ahead of time, but this is our six, regular 16 millimeter die. And yeah, so you can see they're 12 millimeter. That's not such a big deal. Um, I don't know. It looks like, actually, it looks like a Chessex die. Um, this is a Chessex die, and it has basically the same, I don't know, rounded corners style cuts. But anyway, there is our bunch of die. 35, I think, if I remember correctly. But I don't know for sure. We can look on the box in a second. So we'll see that. We have our alert cards, it looks like, or yellow alerts, red alerts, and I'm pretty sure there's blue which we will get to in a second. Here's our sand timer. Um, if I remember correctly from the designer diary I read, it is three minutes. So, here. It's finishing in a second. Okay, there's a bunch more stuff in here. All right, we'll get to this in a second. I'm gonna work my way backwards. All right, let's pull this over here. Okay, here's our timer. We're going to start and we'll see how long it takes to drain down. Okay, so here is our rule book. Um, here's our overview of components. There's our instructions. There are the symbols. And it looks like you only need through the first five pages. Uh, rules, and then here is our crew abilities. It looks like a F FAQ, and on the back is our player aid, and I think this is super cool looking. <laughs> Just the way it looks like uh, the, com the computers in the next generation. But there is our rules. Um, we have a little red placer die, which I think is gonna, or it's a token, which I think is gonna go in our ship. I could be completely wrong, but I think that it's going to move along this track. But you can see we have the original Enterprise. And on the other side, we have the Enterprise D. 
because this is a way the game is designed that you can play either original cast or next generation cast or mix them up so you will notice that in this player card we have Lieutenant Worf on one side and Ensign Chekhov on the other so it seems like it's a really nice way that you can I don't know play with different uh, the different crews and maybe mix and match them. I like the original series better but I also like the next generation so it might be nice to switch it up. One thing I think that's cool is that if you see um, so Instant Chekhov's special ability is one time on your turn you may move one die from one event card to another so that's his special ability and if you look at Worf after rolling your dice, you may change the value of one of those die to match the value of another of the rolled dice. So the it's they're not just uh, the same. It's not the same character with a different picture on it. They are completely different, and so I'm assuming they're going to work. I mean, that's going to be where the strategy of the game is. So we have Chekhov. Let's see who else we have. We have Data and Sulu. Uhura and Deanna Troy. There's Jordy and Dr. Crusher and Bones and Scotty. And we have Riker, and I'm assuming that's going to be Spock. And then we have Captain Picard. And of course, Captain Kirk. Oh, and then we have Yeoman Rand and Wesley Crusher. So that leaves us with eight. Um, characters to play in it, which seems like that gives it a lot of replayability. Oh, I've knocked over my timer. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's see if we can't get it to finish out while we open these up. All right, so we have our alert decks. Oh, I've got a little scratch. Okay, so I think that might tell us about the quality of the cards, which might mean we want to sleeve them. So this is the red alerts deck. These are, yeah, these are real papery. Um, they feel closer to thick paper than they do to card stock or to like cards. And I do have a scratch, but I don't know. Worst things have happened. Let's see. So we have, I mean, these are all the different. I don't know what to call them. Alerts. Maybe adventures we have to go on, and during our five year mission, we're going to have to successfully beat a certain number of them. Ooh, Tholian Web. Oh, the, the Borg. So it seems like they have a nice mix of. <laughs> there's Lore and Deanna's mom. Um, it seems like we have a nice mix of original series. And next generation, where are we? There we go. In the game, so that'll be nice. Okay, you know what? I'll turn it over. Let's see what happens, or if I can refrain from knocking it down. There we go. Let's keep it in the corner. And then we have, yeah, you can see the corners. Let me see if I can get this close. You can see the corners are already kind of, I mean, I just pulled them out of the package, already kind of rubbing sideways, or not peeling, but getting rough. And all I did was open it. Um, oh, look at that. This is the starting card. To boldly go, your five-year mission begins. Or if we're in the Enterprise D, our five-year mission begins. Um, but yeah, these are definitely going to get sleeved. And then here is the uh, yellow alerts, which are going to be easier than the red ones. And here we can see them here. So right now all I'm doing is seeing some fun pictures and one that says has an alert on it. Because um, I don't really, I'm, like I said, I haven't looked at anything other than reading the designer diary. Um, so, 
I don't really know how they will work, but I'm excited about it nonetheless. And then here are our blue missions. Okay, here's an interesting one. Here you can see medical exam. Seems like there's a couple of these. Um, you can see here we have original series, next generation. Like once again, original series, next generation. So these seem to kind of be kind of split. Look, that's, that's how they transport in the original series and in the next generation. Um, but that is our, uh, I don't know, that's a peek at the alert cards. So we have yellow, blue, and red. All right, I am going to go ahead and bag up the rest of the cards and everything, put it back in the box. It's interesting that there's no, what am I trying to say? There's no insert in the box. And from the way the cards are, it seems that Mayfair, I don't know, I don't want to say this the wrong way. It's inexpensive. The MSRP is only $35. But it seems like Mayfair has maybe not put too much into this game. I mean, they didn't really even announce it or give any special, I mean, the only pictures that were available were of the, pre, were the prototype copy before even Gen Con. All we knew was that it's coming out at Gen Con. And yes, there will be copies. So it's kind of interesting that they, can I fit them in here? Yes, I can. It seems interesting that they didn't really give it much fanfare. And maybe that's indicative of how they feel about the game because of the quality of the components. But it doesn't matter. The components are completely fine. Maybe we're getting too used to flashy stuff that we're not happy with, not regular. But let's see, let's look. Time. So when I'm making the video, I'll set the timer, see how, I don't know, see if this is three minutes. Um, let me get, anyway, I'm gonna put this in there. And I have my, the, be, the dice. You know what, I'm gonna go grab bags for these. Okay, I've got everything in the box. Now let's put my box lid back on. Let's get it back here. Yep, got it all. And there we have it. Star Trek five year mission and I am very excited to play this. So really I'm just gonna open it back up, sleeve the cards and get to it. But thanks for watching and I will see you next time.